Hello again, it's the Walter 61 back with another video. You ever been just chilling in your castle? Getting ready to go on an adventure and you think to yourself, wait a minute. I can't just leave my castle undefended. That's why you need a working Porticolis gate. That's right, it closes, it opens. It's amazing. Uh, I got this idea because a, a user on Reddit just the other day posted his design and while a valid design it wasn't it wasn't a design that I particularly cared for. I took a look at it and I thought to myself that I could design something maybe a little bit more better that would work a little bit more efficiently that would be a little bit simpler so I set to work and we came up with this. Um, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than the other designs we've done but nothing we can't handle. So without further ado we're going to go ahead we're going to break this up into different sections it's going to be a little bit easier that way so let's go ahead and take a look at the first section. Alright this design relies on two sets of double piston extenders. Uh, there's ones underground that are obviously pushing up, and then there's ones up in the ceiling that push down. This is what is going to be buried underneath. This is the design. We will tile it three times right next to each other. When activated, it pushes the block up, which pushes the gate back up into the top. Alright, next up we have another double piston extender. This one set in the ceiling. Um, interesting thing about this one is that the bottom piston is in fact not sticky. Uh, the sticky pistons in this design will not be doing any pooling of the gate. Basically both piston extenders are going to be shoving the entire gate up and down respectively. Same as below, this one we're going to create three by, or tiled three on its side here. Alright, now that we've got a look at the guts and the general idea of the build, without further ado, let's go ahead and get our supplies ready and we're going to head on over and build it. Alright, first things first, find the spot where you're going to want your gate at and you're going to need to dig down six and then make a hole that's three wide and seven deep, like so. Boom, instant hole. All right, um, like I said, the three by uh, seven is what I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. Just confirm. Three by seven, six deep. I dug it four wide just so we have a little bit of room to play around in there, uh, so it's not quite as cramped. All right, so in we go, and let's get started. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started right here on the bottom piston extenders. What we're going to do is we're going to build one to completion and then we're going to go ahead and replicate it two more times. It's the easiest way to do it. You build the first time and then you can just pop, 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 replicate it over. Super simple, super simple. Alright, first off we're going to place our building blocks down. So what you do is you count over one, two, three, four, on the fifth block, place a block, place one diagonal to it, one like that, all right, simple so far, right, place one diagonal to that, one down here, one up here, so right now you got sort of a W with a little extent, extension right there. Skip one block, place one right there. Skip one block, place right there. Now, whatever blocks you place up here will be your floor. For simplicity's sake, we're just going to use stone bricks for everything. There you go. Next up, we're going to take our two sticky pistons here and put one there and one there. And then we're going to go ahead and place some torches. We're going to place one right here. We're going to place one right there, one right there, one right there. And we're going to place one right here. Okay, simple enough so far. Take your repeaters, place one right there. Place one. There you go, right there. 
maximum delay and one delay. All right, all right. Finally, place one repeater right there. Place a switch, turn that switch on, and this is how you have to do it. it has to be done last. Place your sticky piston, your last one, right there. Go ahead and flip our switch. It activates up. Perfect. So far, so good, right? Right. Like I said, one of the important things to remember though is you do not want to add this piston until the end. I'm not 100% sure why, but it tends to glitch out if you put it down sooner. So, just place blocks like so. We're not going to place that block either because obviously then we're not going to be able to place the piston. Alright, fly on over here. Sticky, sticky. Sticky, sticky. Alright. Beauty of these designs is the simplicity and the symmetry. Everything gets basically mirrored from one side to the other. Super simple. All right. Repeater one tick, repeater with one tick. This could be tricky. Or I can just fly over here like this and do it, I guess, technically. Maximum delay on both of those. Alright. Now to wire them all up so all three work together. Boom, boom. Chicka boom. Nice flat, flush floor. You hit the lever, you fly up, and look at that. Extended two into the air. All right. We're going to leave this as is right now. We'll work on wiring or bring the wire up the rest of the way here in a minute. Once we get started or once we finish on the top half. All right, let's go ahead and get started on that top section. You'll find it's just as simple as the bottom section. What you got to do is go ahead and make sure the bottom section is turned off. Mark where the pistons are so you don't forget. Okay, This is exactly where the pistons are because you want the top to exactly match up. Otherwise, it's not going to, it's just not going to work. Okay, Place two blocks down. That's going to represent how far up the pistons are going to go. Take your iron bars. One, two. Give it a third one. And place whatever block you'd like up on top take those bottom two blocks out. Alright. Next thing you need to do is place two blocks on top. Go ahead and take that middle block out and here's the important step right here. It needs to be a regular piston. Non-sticky. Regular piston right there. Alright. Go ahead and place a block right there. Once again remove that. Take your sticky piston facing downwards right there. Simple enough so far, right? Three bars, one block, regular piston, sticky piston, block. All right, all right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to place a block right here next to the sticky piston. Then we're going to go one, two, take that one out. Then we're going to go one, two, take that one out. One, two, take that one out. And then we're gonna go one, two, take that one out, and one, two. Can you guess? Yep, take that one out. Those of you who have been paying attention might recognize this as almost exactly the same shape as we had below. The W with the little accent mark kind of thing. At least that's what it looks like to me. Anywho, let's go ahead and 
place some torches. We'll place one right here. Place one right here. Come around. Place one right there. Get some repeaters out. Place one right there. Give it one click. Give it two clicks. And that's enough. Repeater that way. Repeater that way. Give it one click because that's all it deserves. Alright, alright. I know what you're thinking, but that was too easy. That was too simple. I can't be all there is to it. Guess what? That's all there is to it. That's it. If you were to go down below and hit this lever right here, it would push it up. Hit it again. And look at that. Your gate is raised up here too. You can walk through. If you were to fly back up here and you were to hit this lever, guess what? It's going to push it down the two. And then leave it be. Alright, that's simple, right? Right simple. And all you got to do next is one, two, one, two. Replicate it two more times out. Yeah, let's place these repeaters first. One, two, one, two, one, one. Block, did he block? Block, 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 block. All right. Torches and torches, right there and right there. Like I said, I like to make it completely one time, and then, like I said, all you've got to do is just follow your old example. It's simple. Sticky, sticky, regular, regular, block, block. Iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Would you believe it? That's basically the whole design. I mean, really, truly, that is basically the design. Bet you didn't think you could do it before. Guess what? You can. It's simple. Alright. What we're going to do now. Wire all of this up. Alright. Place three blocks right like so. And just like down below. Repeater, repeater, repeater. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Pause. For time set to day. Boop. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Turn that off. Turn that on. That did not push them up enough. What did you do? There we go. Minor glitch in the matrix. We're not going to worry about it. All right. Now all you got to do is just spiral your way up to the top. Like I said, this part right here is is like every other kind of build we've ever done. Is the the final wiring. It really is up to you how you want to run it. There's not really a wrong way. Well I'm sure there's a wrong way, but Oh my, important point. Do, 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 do. You need to invert this signal. I almost forgot. You guys have been so mad. There you go. That's it. Place a torch right there. And then run your redstone. Like so. Right. Give ourselves a button right there. All right. 
That worked fine, right? That was super. Same deal up here. Run it out a couple. Place block there. Invert the whole thing. And then just run your redstone dust however you so desire. You want it hidden? You hide it. You want it out in, out in the open? I'm not going to judge. Okay, I might judge a little bit. Alright. Boom. Put a repeater there to direct the flow. Up the stairs. Like nobody cares. I don't think that's going to work. Got to make sure that the wire is facing. There we go. You'd think I've never used redstone before. Okay. Place another button right there. Cover that up a little bit right there. Place some blocks like so to beautify it a little bit. But just a little bit. Alright. Look at that. Open. And. Nope, wrong one. Oh no, our close button doesn't work. Probably because our repeater's facing the wrong way. Alright. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Open it up. Close it back down. That's it! I told you guys it'd be simple. That's all there is to it. Um, hope it was easy enough to follow. Like I said, this, this was a little bit more complicated of a build than we normally do. But it's a cool build nonetheless. Uh, I'll take this time right now to say that these two piston extenders were actually designed by Codecrafted on uh, on YouTube. I'll link him in the description. He had a video about some double piston extenders. I just went ahead and took his design and used them for this build. Uh, I don't imply any The, no ownership to the designs of the extenders. Like I said, I just used them for this. Um, be fairly easy too, just to run some redstone on the other side. That way you can open and close from the other side. Uh, like I said, it's not even very big on top. Should fit fairly easily. I mean, the bottom, who cares? I mean, it fits underneath the ground. Top, I mean, that's three wide. Come on. You can't beat that. It's also tileable. You can make your gate as big as you'd like. So, all right. Well, I think I've rambled on enough here. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead, like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. I try to respond to just about everyone. Had one guy ask me if I licked toes the other day. Didn't respond to him, but everyone else I think I've gotten to. So, until next time, have fun. And bye-bye.